to sleep side to side this way, which is something that I think you can only really do in uh, the Ram Pro Masters, and we really liked that, so it gave us more space up at the front. We do typically convert this into our dinette, like um, couch mode, basically, every single day. I just decided to keep it um, like this. Um, for today because I got it look nice. I do like it in bed mode, but it really just opens up the space so much more having the bed into in the couch mode. We also have three different light options. We have our overheads here. We have one in the kitchen for when we're cooking. And then we also have these warm lights here that we have on dimmers, which are super great for nighttime when you want to just take it easy on your eyes. Um, we have our bunker window here that opens up as well. And we have a few pots and candles and such um, just for more decor back here. Underneath our bed, we have three different benches. We have our water bench is on this side here. We have our electric bench on this side, and then we have some like fun and games, like a little like a garage, I guess you could say, bench um, in the middle. And then we also can store our shoes and everything under um, in the middle section that you can walk on. We also have a max air fan up at the front that we turn on when we're cooking or when we want some like cool air. It's essentially like our air conditioning, and we just open up our bunker window to get a nice like cool um, cross breeze in here. So that's really really nice. Um, back in the back we also have this curtain here we don't really use it too much we actually use our window covers a lot more which kind of insulate the van and also give us a lot of privacy because at nighttime it's like a fishbowl in here and you don't want to have your lights on and no window covers up so for privacy we put these up and they just roll up super nicely so we love having these definitely recommend um, we also have our roof deck on top, which we added uh, about a year after we moved into the van we have a ladder, and we can get up there and just like enjoy the views, enjoy the sunset. We can also clean off our solar panels that way. And recently we did add our Starlink to the roof as well, so we have full satellite internet up there. We also have these two little bookshelves up in the corners here. Um, we just use them with like scrap materials that we had, just to add like a little something in the back there. We also have our big slide out table that we really like to have. We store um, a lot of our uh, like watering hoses, like our filters, like some extra sunscreen shovels, just outdoorsy things in our um, table there. And we can also set up chairs if we want to like actually like have a shower in our van. Just because for me, I really wanted to optimize the space in here. Uh, we choose to use Planet Fitness memberships when we're in the States that really, really come in handy. We've never really had an issue with finding a shower or a Planet Fitness or at least like um, like a like a wellness center, like a YMCA, there's always options for showers. So for us, I didn't feel the need to put a fixed shower in our van. However, we do have an outdoor shower option as well, which I don't think we've ever used, but it's good to have just in case we're really desperate. We also have our closets up in these overhead cabinets. Blake has these two here and I actually have three, which is very generous of him. Up here we have, basically we have enough space to store Tons of clothes, probably too much, honestly. But we really don't have to worry about getting a storage unit or storing clothes elsewhere. We have enough room to store all of our clothes, which is really, really nice. Um, we have the gas struts that keep them open and the uh, RV latches that keep them securely shut. And that's our van. Next plans. Uh Finishing our national, national park, park trip. trip. Yeah, yeah, I think um, finishing our national park trip is probably next once we leave Baja, but we, mm -hmm. also, we also don't really have any plans to leave Baja because it's such easy living down here. We are posted up for free on a beach right now, which is, it's just amazing. So, um, but after we get back to the States, finish our national park trip, um, maybe slowly make our way back to the East Coast. No real rush though. Um, maybe spend some time in Florida, but eventually I think it'd be really, really cool to either do another new, like a new project, like potentially another van build, maybe um, ship our van somewhere like to Europe or something. Like there's really no set plans, but I think we kind of just figure it out as we go. If you would like to follow us along on our um, tiny home adventures, you are welcome to follow us on Don't Quit Your Daydream. That's our Instagram. And we also do have a YouTube. Um, we haven't really posted a ton. I post a lot of shorts on there, but it's also Don't Quit Your Daydream as well. But thank you so much, Tiny Home Tours, for uh, touring our van today. We really appreciate it. It's our very first van tour. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the road.